Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Showdown cards uh, to review. Uh, we already did the Patrick Vieira video, going to upload that real quick. Uh, but with Sergio Canales, we're taking a look at a card who is 142k as an SBC right now. Let's see, so he's 4-star, four 4-star, four great start, left-footed, fantastic start, 5 foot nine, high-medium work rates with a lean body type. Okay, so it's kind of like a... Um, it's kind of like a shorter version of kind of like using like a Lorente card, if anything. This card's going to need an upgrade for sure. Anchor chemistry style on this bad boy or shadow. Shadow for better defensive stats and extra pace, but physical's not there. So again, another showdown card that EA picks that requires the upgrade. It's not like a Weghorst situation where his first card was already pretty solid for what it was. Uh, this card is definitely going to need an upgrade, but he still looks pretty solid as a um, as a center mid, to be honest. He's going to have base card stats of 92 acceleration, 89 for sprint speed. What are your traits? He has the finesse shot trait, which is kind of helpful if you get into certain positions. It's not bad, actually. Uh, flare trait, playmaker, long shot taker, injury prone. Interesting. Yeah, this card doesn't look too bad. This card upgraded could be very, very good because you're obviously going to be giving him an anchor. And if they actually boost the pace a certain way on the card, if he gets that upgrade, you probably won't even have to give him an anchor. You'd probably give him like a, a sentinel to boost defense and physical as much as possible because they would boost the pace themselves. But it just depends on how they format it, right? Um, we're definitely going to be trying him out on the anchor because the anchor gives him 97 acceleration, 94 for sprint speed, good defensive stats with decent physical capabilities, right? So it's gonna be the type of guy where, you know, let's just say for instance, you guys know like the Awar card, right? Like Awar is a player that can attack and defend. Cards like this are really sick. I like that he's high medium work rated. I like that he has the 91 stamina because this card in the center mid position is a player that I can use in like a 3-5-2 system as my left mid, you know, pushing forward and coming back because he actually, ha he actually has some shooting capabilities too. So, WSBC as it currently is for that reason, if that's what you want to do with this card, right? Um, or you use them in the midfield as one of your um, attacking and defensive oriented players too. That wouldn't be bad. Shooting for base card stats is already set up in a decent area too for a midfielder. Passing is phenomenal as well at a four star weak foot, 87 for composure. The dribbling is in a good area too because he's a five foot nine player at a lean body type, right? So if you're using him in that way, that would be pretty cool too. Um... And that dribbling, by the way, is like if it's a lean body type or not, not a bad thing to work with when you're using them in the side areas, right? Uh, defensive stats we will be experimenting with on the anchor chemistry style as well as the physical stats being there too. So uh, I usually don't use these types of cards in the left mid, right mid area. Like it's the same thing as the Tim Cahill card. Like I want to see what they're like playing through the middle so that they can attack and defend as much as possible, right? Um, so we're going to be using Sergio Canales in the Liga Santander squad. Let's see what we have here. So 4-4-2. 4-4-2 two wouldn't be bad, actually. Just for the review, you know. And then we could just switch that there. And the rest of the team as it is. Yeah, we could do this. What's the instruction on him? Balanced oriented midfielder. I'm totally okay with that, actually. Yeah. Okay, let's go try him out. <laughs> Try a white time shot from there, eh? Why not? Why not? Green time shot. Pretty decent. Very, very far. With him being a left-footed player, they, they're just it just adds a lot of variable to the card for sure. Because, like I said, I, I would love to use him mainly as like a left mid for sure. Do this. Skill move. Dribble, dribble. Nothing too crazy, but a decent shot. Ooh, we misses that one, eh? Unlock, mate. Unlock. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to push him out of position and see how fast he comes back. It's pretty rapid, to be honest. Not bad at all. I'll trigger there. Good pressure. Yeah, that body type with the dribbling, it's helpful for sure. 
So he's committed like crazy here on the attack. Look at how fast he's running back. He's actually sprinting back into position. Solid. I tried it. So again, nothing here. Runs back into position, just using Marino. Oh, goes for an animation. Don't get lucky enough there. Yeah, lingers on the 18 yard box as he should. Lost possession of the ball, but again, the track back very, very quick by him. Look at his positioning. It's actually good. I'm going to do this. Marks that guy the entire time. This card has potential, eh? He has potential. Oh, there you go. A little driven cross, beauty of a pass. I'm not really sure how that worked out. The croquette is weird sometimes with the registration against the defenders. Like sometimes it doesn't really do much. Oh, I couldn't get the green. You want to put more power because they'll do the loop from a distance if you're coming off of dribbles a certain way. Look at his marking, bro. For a high medium work rate of player, it's really good. It almost looks, it seems like I'm playing with a high high, if anything. Ah, oh, it's too much. I don't know what's happening. Shoot? Oh, sure. Donnarumma, man, I'm telling you guys, like, not good, man. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh, I lost the ball there, but it was a really good challenge. No, wait, maybe it fell? Ah, oh, I got a last second touch, so I was like, maybe, maybe. Look, every time I push him out of position, like on purpose, his marking is just fantastic to come back. Like, it's really solid, man. Look at him. We'll pass to the bottom side here on the lob. Aw, oh, unlucky. Might have to do a double tap there. The double tap lob is uh, usually more accurate. That was a really nice pass, to be fair. Very, very solid. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that skill move. Bad choice there. In the moment, you know, you're thinking, you're like, I don't know, what can I do here? Oh, look at that for a strike. Absolute beauty. Oh, nothing there, nothing there. It's involved in the attack, though. Oh, 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 oh. Take it easy on the dribbles. Ah. Oh. No loops there, because it's coming off of the drag a certain way. Oh, I messed up. You know what I You know what I noticed? He definitely needs that. Like, if you want to use him as a midfielder, right? Uh, the defensive boost. Oh, L1, R1. Wow, nice pass. Oh, ah, almost. Um, if you want to use him as a midfielder right now, like he needs that boost. But these defensive stats, guys, in the left mid position is perfectly fine, man. I'm telling you. Maybe you got a chip there? Oh, unlucky. Base card stats for dribbling being improved would definitely be nice, too, to be fair. <laughs> I scored that one too, no way. Oh, good defensive play, we'll take that. 
。ああ。Yeah, just have to block that passing angle there. All、oh, right, got it. Let's go. This is me using him in the left mid position right now. Look at him already in the left back position. I'm gonna do this. On top of him the entire time and tracks back like crazy. Look at Canales already. Basically playing like a five back. <laughs> there you go. And also cross right there. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the new SBC Sergio Canales card. So, guys, listen, man. This card has so much potential. Like, if he gets. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Even if he just gets, like, can they tie? Because this is Real Betis versus who? Valencia? Is this like a league game that they can tie? Because if that's the case, he just needs a tie, honestly. Because if he gets the tie and he gets like plus ones, plus twos, threes in certain areas, and then you can give him the anchor chemistry style, the card is going to be really solid, man, because he needs that pace boost, right? But he also needs the defensive boost. He needs the physical boost. But guys, a card like this. The potential that it has is nuts. It really is. Because here's the thing this card, and I, I'm saying this because I'm, I, listen, you can use him right now. You definitely can. I'm not saying that you can't, okay? But you can tell that you really want that upgrade for the top meta of this game, okay? If they boost his pace to be close to the 99s for both of the areas, right? They boost base card stats for defending, for physical, for shooting, passing, dribbling. The dribbling I really want, okay? I really want the dribbling because a card like this to be rotated into that left mid position or as one of the midfielders is fantastic because, guys, listen, you guys watch some of my reviews of me using the Vasquez card. And honestly, I use Vasquez on seven chemistry sometimes, okay? Because it gives me that link to Benzema. Benzema's French, boom, Fortable 2 works out easy, right? When this Vasquez card got upgraded, he fits what I need to have in that area, right? So if we take a look at his stats,、uh, this card on full chemistry obviously has higher pace. But again, it's a card that can attack and defend. So the main purpose of using him. Is to be played in that left mid, right mid area in that full back position. You could totally do that 100%, right? But here's the thing this card being Spanish, if I do, you know, a basic 4 3 it's such an easy card to link with because of the Spanish links. But it's like I said, he needs that upgrade for me to have a very simple 3 5 2 setup and then play him in that position because his track back is actually really good. You notice the lack of defense that he currently has, but. If he gets the upgrade, it's a card that is really nice to have in a team that's versatile, that can push forward and come back really nicely. Because the fullbacks, you could just kind of have like a four back setup. Maybe one of them plays at your left mid, right mid, depends. And you can use them as the left mid. But he needs the upgrade. That's going to be the thing. So it's one of those、uh, gamble SBCs for sure, because he's not there yet, but he can be. Because you guys saw those shots, man. Some very, Very good stuff. But、uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.